El Diablo Tejanos. What? That's the extent of my Mexican. Oh. That means Texan devils. Oh yeah? It's a nickname for the Texas Rangers. Oh. Yeah. Because okay. they fought so hard in the Mexican-American War that they were they were deemed the Texan devils, which is El Diablo Tejanos. Look at you. Yeah. Today we're going to be going to the uh, the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame and Museum in mm -hmm. Waco, Texas. We've been to Waco before, but we've never been to this museum. Yeah. And it's going to be really cool. We're going to share some facts with you, but there's one fact that I have to share with you right away. What? There are some <laughs> honorary members of the Texas Rangers who are not actually Texas Rangers. Oh, yeah, I remember you talking about this. George H.W. Bush. Of course. John Wayne. <laughs> oh, of course. And, of course, Chuck Norris. Oh, well. Why would Chuck Norris not be an honorary Texas Ranger? The lineup would Ranger? not be complete without him. And the reason I had to come right out front with this fact is because you cannot talk about Chuck Norris and not do Chuck Norris jokes. <laughs> oh, God. Don't. No. <laughs> Do you know any Chuck Norris jokes? Uh, I've heard thousands. Tell me a Chuck Norris I joke. Can't tell, Come on. I can't tell you one because my body physically will not retain them. I'm against retaining that kind of knowledge. Well, I will tell you. And then, some of them are not really jokes. It's just like little known facts about Chuck Norris. Like, did you know? <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's already <laughs> mentally <laughs> bracing herself because she knows it's going down all day. It's going down all day, Chuck it's Norris It's like jokes. hearing a dad joke to yeah. me. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> Did you know that Chuck Norris can make onions cry? <laughs> <laughs> he wants to drown a fish. He can do a wheelie on a unicycle. <laughs> Stop the madness. Look, the dark is scared of Chuck Norris. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Look, the boogeyman checks under his bed for Chuck Norris. <laughs> Stop yourself. We're going to do it all day. No, please don't. We're going to take it to the... <laughs> I beg of you. <laughs> we're gonna, all right, we're going we're gonna to tell you Chuck Norris jokes all day and we're going to happen to go to the museum. Okay. That's, what, that's how this video is going down. <laughs> Scout, you're so lucky you get to stay home by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so stick around. We're going to have lots of fun today. Uh, it's going to take us about 45 minutes to get over there, but we're going to go over there. We are going to get serious yeah. a little bit when we get into the museum, but mm -hmm. there will be more Chuck Norris jokes throughout the video. No. Yay. <laughs> I got to get, I, I'm going to tell you one off camera that you have to say on camera. Oh, come on now. <laughs> you, we got to get Leslie to tell a Chuck Norris joke before this video is over. <laughs> one know. Chuck Norris joke. I don't know if I can get through it. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the museum. I'll, I'll try. All right, let's go. Well, we're at the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame yes. and Museum. Let me give you an idea how difficult it is to get into this place. <laughs> as difficult? Not, not like for to us to go see it. Oh. I'm talking about like to be inducted into like the Hall of Fame. Oh, okay. So, first of all, you have to be a Texas Ranger, obviously. Cool. But it's hard to become a Texas Ranger. First of all, you have to have at least eight years of law enforcement experience to even apply. Okay. And they said that when a position opens up, roughly a hundred people apply for that one position. So just to get that one position, that's just to get into the Texas Rangers. Yeah. That's not to get into the Hall of Fame. No, that first you gotta get in. And then you work on getting into the fame. <laughs> so these are the best of the best of the best that actually got in here. So we're actually gonna read and see about some real true life heroes today elite people but yeah it's gonna be very cool to go in here today and um and just kind of see i have no idea what to expect yeah but again thank you to christine and the team here at the uh texas ranger hall of fame museum who are allowing us to film today and share with you on youtube yeah because commercially you're not allowed without consent yeah so. and and here's something else that's super exciting they just got through with some new renovations yeah and i believe that we are the first people to be able to film this and share this on YouTube. So even if you've seen these videos of the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame in the past, this video is gonna be different than anyone you've ever seen before. Ooh. She's not impressed. 
I, I think that's pretty cool. Um, you saw it here first <laughs> with the wayward wags. You're welcome. Did you know Chuck Norris wants to drown in a fish? <laughs> you said that already. I said that one? Yeah, you said that one. <laughs> TBI. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, I gotta come up with a new one. All right. Baby. Uh, did you know that Superman has a pair of Chuck Norris pajamas? <laughs> Didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, gotta, I gotta look up some more. We'll do some more. <laughs> Very interesting because, well, when they were captured and killed, they weren't actually captured and killed by a Texas Ranger. He was retired. Yeah. Wasn't he? Frank Hamer. They did a movie about it on Netflix called The Highwaymen um, with um, Kevin Costner and yeah. Woody Harrelson. So if you get a chance to see that movie, mm -hmm. definitely see that. Yeah. It tells the timeline of the whole, like from the day they met until all the major yeah. bank robberies and the, all the major the stuff. The forming of their posse and everything is yeah. pretty cool. Very cool stuff in here. Pictures of the car that was shot up. We actually got to see the car. Yes, in California. At the uh, Ronald Reagan Museum. They had like a moving FBI uh, exhibit that went yeah. with it. So that's cool to be able so, to see yeah. And then some of the guns taken from the car. These yeah. are actual, some of these are actual guns that were taken from Bonnie Clyde's car when they were killed. Yeah. So very cool history from the Texas Rangers. Even though he was retired at the time, he he was like one of the best. So yeah. he actually came out of retirement to go to, capture just to and get kill. Them. I think he was he, he didn't care whether they captured or killed him. Honestly, I don't think. No. He just, just wanted stopped. to be gone. So yeah. he figured it out. But go watch the movie on Netflix, The Highwayman. Very Love cool. That. And um, we'll leave a link in the description of this video to the Ronald Reagan Museum if you want to pop over there and see uh, when we went to see the car. car. It's Which very cool. Awesome. Yeah. And the Rangers were involved in everything. Yeah. Everything. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. They were involved in like um, gambling, busting up gambling rings, uh, prohibition when alcohol was illegal, yeah. um, border crossings. Um, they even ran down deserters. Yeah. From the army. From the war. In yeah. uh, World War One. One. And uh, mm -hmm. which reminds me, because I saw the recruiting poster, and as I looked uh, and saw the information about the Texas Rangers recruiting, they've never had to recruit. Because it's so hard and so competitive, they've never actually had to try to get people to join the Texas Rangers. Ah, so that's cool. I, and I just learned around the corner that they were, uh, once railroad cars were, had refrigerated cars, oh. for some reason, that's when Texas Rangers started protecting the railways. Hmm, it must have been something very important that was refrigerated. I don't know. It just you know, was interesting to me. That is interesting. Did you know that Chuck Norris once counted to infinity? I think he did it twice, actually. <laughs> what? Are we allowed to put cocaine on YouTube? Are we allowed to do this? <laughs> I don't know if we're allowed to showcase drug paraphernalia. They have your cricket killer. They do have my cricket killer. I got years ago. I got Leslie this little twenty-two. It was Mother's Day. Revolver, <laughs> long. She's twenty-two long. If it's right in the palm of your hand, you can actually fit it inside of a belt buckle. Yes, with a magnet. You can hide this thing anywhere. Yeah. But it's always been Leslie's favorite gun. Yeah, because she still has to, it. To keep with me, and when we're on the motorcycle, have on me. Yeah. I love you fit it in any little pocket. You can even it. fit in like the little, the little bitty pocket. pocket of of my riding vest. Yeah. yeah, so you can, that thing can hide anywhere. Yeah. Unless there's like metal detectors and stuff. 
<laughs> and see, people laugh at it, they kid, oh, that's not, what's that gonna do? It's in the Ranger Hall of Fame. It's kind of a big deal. So, um, laugh at me now. Yeah. <laughs> what now? <laughs> Did you know that Chuck Norris once won a staring contest with the sun? <laughs> Unless you didn't know that. Did I you? didn't know that. Yeah. Well, a long, long time ago, the, uh, the dinosaurs looked crazy at Chuck Norris, and we all know what happened. <laughs> there are no more dinosaurs. <laughs> this hall here is pretty cool, mm -hmm. because some of the best rangers in the business are in this hallway. Yeah. With all of their gear. A, and it was a family up there. Some like of them generations. are families. Yeah, generations. Yeah. That goes back for years and years. It's, it's amazing that they still have some of this stuff yeah. to put on display. It's hard to show because a lot of it's behind glass. Yeah. You have to actually see this in person to get an appreciation for it. Yeah. Because this is the actual saddles they rode, the actual guns they shot, Through the actual boots, badges that they wore, yeah. all that good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Did you know that Chuck Norris once kicked a horse in the chin? Like, bam, like that. He just got real mad at it and just kicked it right in the chin. Its descendants are now known as giraffes. <laughs> <laughs> I love giraffes. <laughs> I think they stuffed a real dog. They probably did. That's yeah. creepy. Yeah. And, and, and anatomically correct, by the way, in case you're wondering. We're in the pop culture room now. Mm -hmm. They have cool stuff from Walker, Texas Ranger. Yes. Paraphernalia used actually in the show. Yes. Signed. Signed uh, stuff. Scripts and stuff. And then Lone Ranger stuff. Half of I mean, this is very cool to see this stuff too. Yeah. Uh, we just came from the area where they did the, um, they like the whole hall, like the oval hall of people who were killed in the line of duty, rangers that were killed in the line of duty, mm -hmm. which was, which was very, um, very, cool. very cool to see. Uh, so we didn't do anything joking around in there. Mm -hmm. That was all very serious stuff. But um, now we can joke again because we're in a funny place. <laughs> Are you just <laughs> bracing yourself for the next Chuck Norris joke? Yes. Do you have any Chuck Norris jokes yet? No. Jeez, man, what are you doing? You're slacking over here. Sorry. All right, I'll come up with one. Let me see. Um, Chuck Norris once urinated in the tank of an 18-wheeler, which is now known as Optimus Prime. <laughs> I get it. Like he was a regular 18 wheeler, now he's like a badass 18 wheeler? Because Chuck Norris pissed in his game? Yeah, you, know, you get it? I get it. Okay. Well, we're toward the end here. We just got out of the museum. Leslie yeah. is going to share a Chuck Norris joke. What you got? <laughs> Lay it on us, man. I don't even believe I'm going to say this. <laughs> what? It, it's, it's gonna be funny. <laughs> it was a little funny. Okay. okay. We're ready. Oh, I hope I don't screw it up. Okay. Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> She's already laughing. She can't even get it out. That Chuck Norris's cowboy boots are made of real cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> it's classic Chuck Norris. It's classic Chuck Norris. <laughs> yeah, we had a great time in there. Um, a lot of stuff that we couldn't show because everything's behind glass. Yes, very And reflective. the glares are just terrible. So, um, and I, I get it. They were protecting their stuff history-wise well, and stuff. Yeah. So, um, but some very cool, interesting artifacts. It's definitely worth coming. It's mm -hmm. only a few bucks. 
I think for general public, it's like 10 bucks or something. If that, I don't even yeah, know. Yeah, for us, it was like seven, seven. for being military. Oh, so it wasn't bad at all. And thank you again uh, for the for them allowing us to film today. Yeah. yeah. That was very cool. Very cool. We were in there for about two hours. Yeah. And we didn't read everything. And we didn't stay There's a, for yeah. a film, a 45 minute film. Yeah. We didn't catch that. So it could have been another 45 minutes. Yeah, definitely worth coming. Definitely allot yourself uh, plenty of time yeah. to go through it because you're going to need a couple of hours, mm -hmm. especially if you like reading all the historical stuff. Uh, if we had read everything and watched the film, we probably would have been in there closer to like three and a half, four hours. Yeah. Um, but they all had very interesting lives. The ones that we, we did read their placards. Yes. Very crazy. And I, Very I, hardcore people. I'm telling you, that's what I was getting ready to say. They're so hardcore. Even like... When they were older, retired, they still just looked like rugged Rig dudes. Like, yeah, like you still don't want to mess like, with yeah, them. Like, yeah, you know, I, this dude's 81, but I ain't messing around with him because he'll probably take me out behind the woodshed. And, it, and it's obviously changed to what current rangers do now compared yeah. to back then. But like that one I was reading where it said they would, they could on any given day ride 20 to 30 miles. Yeah, horseback. On horseback. That, that hurts. That's rough. That. That hurts my butt just thinking about <laughs> and it. And you get all bow legged, <laughs> yeah. like walking all crazy. Uh, they do have a cemetery right here, which we're gonna explore, yeah. but we're not gonna take you with us because there's really no famous out here or anything. Yeah. So we're just gonna, we just like looking through cemeteries. It'd probably be super boring for you, but we're gonna go do it anyway. Yeah. We will leave you with one last Chuck Norris joke. Oh boy. And actually, a fact. Mm -hmm. Chuck Norris fact. Okay. Did you see a ghost over there or something? No, it's like. <laughs> she went like real fast. Like, something caught me in my permit. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so here's a fact. This is a fact. This is not a joke. This is fact. True history. Look it up. Okay. Okay. Chuck Norris was born on May 6, 1945. The Nazi Germany, they surrendered on May 7th, 1945. <laughs> Coincidence? <laughs> I don't think so. Chuck Norris is born. Nazis like, now nah, we're done. We're good. We're all set. We heard that Chuck Norris was born. <laughs> and we don't want any part of that. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyway, yeah. stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. We hope you had as much fun as yeah. we did at the uh, Texas Ranger Hall of Fame and yeah, Museum. Yeah, if you're in Waco, it's, it's a must do. Definitely come see it. Uh, we appreciate you watching. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, all the information you need is down in the description of the video. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.